Hey guys, it's Kate. So today I'm going to be filming a Q&A because it was super requested so I just decided why not film one. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. Also, before I get started, um, if you want to be included in my next Q&A, then be sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram because I asked you guys to tweet me questions and comment questions on Instagram. Okay, so I have all of the questions on my phone. We're going to start off with the questions from Twitter. What are your favorite songs right now? Um, I like Pants Myself by Selena, Camouflage by Selena, and Sober by Selena, and Rise by Selena. So pretty much um, her whole album. So pretty much anything off of Selena's album is like my favorite right now. I also really love Adele's new song, what's it called, Hello. I really love that song like so, so, so much. Favorite thing about fall, favorite fall scent, and favorite thing to wear in fall. Um, my favorite thing to wear in fall is definitely a flannel. My favorite fall scent is my sweater weather candle, which I actually have right here because I just filmed a, um, an October favorites video. So definitely sweater weather by Bath and Body Works. If you haven't smelled this or if you don't have it, you should definitely go smell it and then pick it up if you like it. Um, and then favorite thing about fall, I really like the leaves, how the leaves change in fall and like, it's just super pretty outside and I love fall fashion, so. Favorite song off Revival. Um, I kind of already said this, but I guess if I had to choose, it would be Camouflage. Um, I really love that song, and I feel like I can relate to it a lot, and I love it, so yeah. What's your favorite clothing store? Probably Forever 21 and Urban Outfitters. Only Urban Outfitters is like super, super expensive, but I really love their stuff, so. When did you find out who your real friends are? Um, that's hard because I'm a junior in high school, as a lot of you guys know. Um, so, and I go to a really small school, so it kind of changes a lot, but I pretty much stay in like the same friend group. Um, but really, I think this year was the year, like this school year was the year where I found out like who my true friends are, and like towards the end of last year for sure. Why did you start YouTube? Okay, um, so this is kind of a long story. And I've never talked about this on my channel, even though I think I've gotten this question before. Um, so I was basically on medical leave from school. Uh, so I wasn't in school for months. Um, I had a heart thing where I couldn't um, stay in class. Like I would get dizzy to the point where, like the doctors had told me, like you could really pass out at any moment. So I that triggered a lot of anxiety for me as well. Um, so I was missing a lot of class and stuff like that and my grades were not good because I wasn't in class a lot of the time um, and it's not something I could help like it's a medical condition so I took a break from school um, which was really hard because it was my freshman year so and my school is really small so everyone knew about it and I've heard like rumors about what people thought I was doing and stuff like that and um, that was hard but basically I was going to doctor's appointments and therapist appointments and I needed something to do. So I started on Instagram and for Christmas I got my camera. Um, so a lot of people from Instagram were asking me to make videos on YouTube. So I did and that just kind of, it just kind of started from there. And it's been super crazy and I'm so thankful. So yeah, that's kind of my little story. I feel like this is gonna be a really long video. Um, I also have some questions that I've really Put some thought into on my notes so if i like seem like i'm reading them off a little bit that might be why all right um so the next question is do you ever get depressed and what helps you through it um so yes i do have times where like i feel um depressed i guess but i don't have depression i actually have anxiety so um whenever like that's part of the reason like like what i said before um but dealing with it is really tough. Um, but it's that's a really hard question. I have another question that's kind of related to that that I kind of thought out a little bit more. Um, so does the hate ever get to you? Yes, for sure. Um, but there are like certain videos that have very um, hurtful and negative comments on them, just specific videos in general, whether that means like they just got so popular that more people were watching them and more people had more opinions to share. Um, but yes, it gets to me. It gets to me a lot. Um, but recently I've kind of built up my own confidence level 
um, that helps me, like, I have more confidence in myself that I really don't, I try not to pay attention to what other people are saying anymore. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, then you definitely know, like, my views on it. Um, I have a few pictures that uh, kind of address it. So if you want to, like, I guess see those, then um, I will have my Instagram down below and you'll know which pictures I'm talking about um, if you go on my Instagram. Um, so as far as dealing with hard times, I have, like, I listed some stuff um, on my phone that I wanted to address. I have really great friends um, who love and support me and just, it's really, they really help me through it a lot and family as well. Um, but sometimes I just want to be alone and um, that's okay. I think being alone is okay and um, I think you also like as far as giving advice to other people you have to allow yourself to cry I'm not a professional by the way this is just like my advice you just have to know that it's okay to cry um, it's healthy to let it out it's not healthy to like hold everything in mentally and I don't know physically if it's not healthy um, but eventually if you just keep holding it in you're gonna burst and it's gonna become like this huge thing which has happened to me multiple times. So dealing with hard times, I did have a hard time last year um, that I'm not really ready to talk about. Just having great friends and having a good mindset and a good family life um, does help a lot. And some of that you can't change. You just have to, it's all up to you really. So as far as dealing with hate, um, People will say what they want to say, and you can't control what they have to say. People have try, will try and tell you who they want you to be, what you have to do, and all that sort of thing. And that's something I've had a really hard time accepting, um, just because being on YouTube, there are a ton of people that will say that sort of stuff, and you just kind of have to um, accept that people will say it, but don't accept their um, comments because they don't know you. Um, and. Also, I'm a very defensive person. I stand up for what I think is right and I will stand up for myself. Um, so that's also something that is hard too because if I respond to a comment, it will trickle down and other people will respond to my comment and it just becomes like this big mess that you just don't want. And so I've, what I've tried to do is um, not comment back to the negative comments anymore. And although, the amount of positive comments does overrule the negative comments it's still really tough it definitely gets to you it definitely has gotten to me and it's really easy to let it get to you honestly there was a time more recently where i let it affect me and how i viewed myself um which wasn't good i really i hated myself and i was basing my opinions on myself off of someone who doesn't even know me off of their comments um, on my Instagram and YouTube and stuff like that but I have to know that these people don't know me they know me based on um, maybe a 10 minute video that they watched they don't know me personally and I know the people who do know me personally definitely don't think that I don't think some of the stuff people say is true okay moving on from that whole like a rabbit hole thing um, if you want me to make a whole video on like the hate and dealing with it and like getting over um, anxiety and stuff like that, then definitely comment that down below because I would really love to do that if enough of you want to see it. Starbucks order at the moment. So Starbucks order at the moment. Um, recently I've been ordering a grande white mocha. So yeah. What is your dream college? Uh, FITM, Fashion Institute of Design and Marketing in LA. What do you plan to do after you graduate? Um, so I really, after I graduate, I want to go to school, go to college in LA, and I want to just continue YouTube and do a lot more stuff there. I think um, also my network is located there, um, so I think I have talked to them and I would have so many more um, opportunities if I lived there. So that's what I want to do when I graduate. What is one of the ways you embraced your insecurities and who helped you during this time? The person who helped me mainly, um, besides like my friends and my family, um, is definitely Selena Gomez. I look up to her so much. I've seen her interviews about body shaming especially, and that I can relate to um, on a different level. I have been um, 
like called like anorexic and too skinny and that sort of thing. Um, so I can, I really appreciated um, those interviews of hers that really helped me understand that like it's your own body. Um, you can't really control your weight to a certain extent. So I, I really like found a connection between those interviews, which is really cool to hear one of your idols talk about something that has affected you so much and has affected them so much that you feel like you can relate and connect with them. If you could live anywhere on earth, where would it be? California, for sure. <laughs> what is your favorite store to buy sweaters at? Um, Urban Outfitters, but they're super expensive. Um, also, Forever 21 has some nice sweaters. You just have to like look pretty hard. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. What three words would you use to describe yourself? Um, happy, most of the time. Um, confident, to a certain extent. Um, and shy at first. Those are like not words, but yeah. Who is your inspiration? Selena Gomez and Ariana Grande. I look up to them so, so, so much. And I talked about like the Selena thing earlier and Ariana definitely does a lot, talks a lot about body shaming too. Um, so yeah. What is your advice for people who are starting a YouTube channel or want to start a channel? You're adorable and original. Aw, thank you. Um, my advice is definitely don't care what other people think of you, especially the people that go to your school or in real life because I know that was something I struggled with for a really long time up until I think this year and the end of last year. Just you have to own who you are and what you do. So you have to own that you make YouTube videos and if someone doesn't like that, then that's their problem. It's not your problem. Um, so yeah, just be as confident as you can with it. Um, people will joke about it most likely. Um, they did for me and you just have to like you have to joke around with them a little bit until it gets to a point where you're just, I don't know, that might not be the best advice, but that's kind of what I did. When was your first kiss? I had just turned 14, I think. Have you ever been in Italy? No, but my parents have. <laughs> what grade are you in? I am a junior, so 11th grade. Um, what's your biggest fear? That's hard. Um, I think just not being happy. Like continuing what I'm doing but not being happy. Um, I think that's probably my biggest fear. What are you doing? Come here. What's your favorite fall accessory? Scarves, like this one. Or like boots, I don't know if that counts, but like little booties, I think those are really cute. Are you going to Selena's revival tour? Yes, I'm going to the one at the KFC Yum Center in Kentucky. So comment down below if you're going. Um, not just to the one at the KFC Yum Center, but if you're going in general. Have you been to Germany? No. Can you lick your elbow? I literally thought this said eyebrow when I first read it. That's really funny. Um, no. You like lizards? Um, yeah, sure. I actually, my brother has a pet lizard that I caught. I did catch it, so. What's a quote that you love? So I have this quote that is my lock screen right now. Um, so the quote is, dream big, work hard, stay focused, and surround yourself with good people. I think that is like a really good quote. It's definitely, it definitely motivates me um, to do better and stuff like that. So, um, what are you doing? Where do you see yourself in five years? That's a really good question. Um, I hope uh, in LA and having YouTube as like my full job and hopefully in a relationship. Yeah, that's it. What's your favorite animal? Um, well, I have a puppy right now. She's in my lap, so I guess puppies. I'm actually allergic to cats, fun fact, but I did have a cat for a while. All right, so that is all the questions I'm gonna answer for today. I'm pretty sure this video is pretty long and it's probably gonna take me a long time to edit. So I'm gonna go get started on that and hopefully I will see you guys all in my very next video. Don't forget, if you want to be included in one of these Q and A's, definitely follow me on Instagram and Twitter because that's where I will be announcing the um, questions. 
Oh yeah, if you want to um, me, if you want to see me do a like dealing with um, hate comments and like dealing with anxiety and that sort of thing, then definitely comment down below because. I would love to do videos on that, but I don't know if you guys want to see them, or if anyone would watch them, or if anyone would like to see those. So, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if that's what you want to see, um, and maybe I will do one very soon. So yeah, that is everything. So, I'm going to go now. Bye! This is where she's been sitting the entire time. Lila! No. Okay. Now I'm out of breath. I don't know why. Hey, girl. Hi. <laughs> She's been laying with me this entire time. What? Where did it go?